Hey there and welcome back to our shop just outside Kennesaw here in North Georgia. This is part eight, I believe, right, of this uh, Singer Soul Machine restoration. In this episode, I'm going to make it pretty quick. I'm just going to clean up, polish up that machine the best I can. I'm not a Singer tech. I don't know a bobbin from a bologna sandwich. I'm just going to clean it up and oil it and look at some of the mechanicals, try to make it look a little bit nicer. So, so here we go. And here's the machine we're going to be working on. It's a Singer Model 66. And you can see it's missing quite a little bit of paint right there. The uh, decals on the machine are fairly well worn. We've got an awful lot of uh, dirt that's accumulated. We have a lot of pitting on this wheel, pitting on this chrome here, a lot of accumulated dirt here. We have dirt and tarnish on this faceplate. A lot of dirt that's built up behind the faceplate. More missing paint here. This uh, access cover is is both uh, dirty and it looks like starting to pit. And there you, you can get an idea of what we're dealing with. Now a friend of mine who follows the channel tells me the best way to clean these machines is with sewing machine oil. I would probably just use a commercial cleaner to get the oil and dirt off, but we searched through our stuff. We've got a can of Singer oil. Um, you can't get this at Walmart anymore, by the way. This was 75 cents for four ounces. That'll give you an idea how old this can must be. And then for polishing, I've got some Simicrome metal polish, and I also use uh, four rod steel wool and oil and all sorts of other stuff. So let's get started and see how we do. Well, let's start right here. Boy, that was tight. Let's start by cleaning the outside. Let's take some Singer oil on a clean rag and start wiping. I guess the theory is, is that the sewing machine oil kind of leaks out or accumulates on the machine over the years and the dust adheres to it and more Singer sewing machine oil takes off the old stuff and carries off the goo with it. Seems to be working okay. Let me, uh, let me get the whole machine knocked off and I'll bring you back. And here's what we've got after we clean this off with uh, sewing machine oil. Or a couple of places the stuff was just so thick that I had to go to a, a diluted commercial cleaner, but we got it. The uh, appears that you have a gloss paint over metal and then the decals and then the lacquer coat. And you, I think you can see right here, there's places on the machine where the lacquer coat is failing and there's places on the machine where the uh, the paint has been worn right off. But we'll uh, we'll just make this as clean and as pretty as we can. The owner will have to decide if they want to do a full restoration on this machine and if so, you know, send it off to have it done. I'm sure there's people that do it. I know you can buy these decal kits and, and apply them yourselves. But uh, we're just going to clean this up the best we can. Oh, and by the way, I, I cleaned up under here the best I could as well without uh, disassembling or interfering with any of the mechanics. Just basically got rid of the, the dust and the cake down old oil and spider webs and things like that. Now here's our trim piece. You can see it's got rust on it. And wherever the rust is, it's eating through this chrome plating. So the first thing we want to do is give it a little cleaning, get any of the dirt off of it. And I'm not going to be able to polish off this rust, that's for sure. It's just 
the pitting is is through the plating. So, all right, let's see. Uh, let's see how we do. Using a little Simichrome metal polish here. You know, one of the ways I've removed rust, and by the way, this is what's come off. One of the ways I've removed rust in the past is to soak the piece in vinegar, but I'm just not sure how this plating is going to come out if I do that. And as we always say, the first rule is do no harm. We don't want to make it worse while we're trying to make it better. This is 4 watt steel wool and some oil. There's a you know, huge rust spot there and it's just, there's nothing to polish. It's just pitted into the base metal that's underlying this. So all we can really hope for is what we have and that's just that we've cleaned it up a little bit. That's what it's supposed to look like on the back right there. But. That's about it. I, I, I could, you know, if you wanted to cheat, I suppose you could micro sand some of this rust and then shoot this with a coat of silver paint, but I'm not sure the look is gonna be what you, uh, what you would want. I think we've got that about as good as it's gonna come. I can't, I can't reverse that, that pitting. Okay, let's move on. And what I'm doing here is just rubbing the, the thumb screw that holds that plate on against a piece of Scotch-Brite. It's a little bit of mineral spirits right there. Most of what uh, has stained this looks to be old sewing oil. And we're making some progress with this. This was uh, pretty much black when I started. But that's just another technique that you can you can use. Let's put some polishing compound on it. It's a whole lot better than it was, but it's not perfect. I'm gonna work on this some more. I'll bring you back. And here's the face plate off the machine. It was held in just with a single screw and a little hook. That's just sewing machine oil that's going on there. And let's see what uh, let's see what happens with a light application of four out steel wool. And we're getting some of the dirt and what looks like some of the surface rust to come up. And I hope you can see how the uh, caked on oil dissolves and comes off. Well, that looks a whole lot better already. Let's put a little Simichrome on here and see what happens. Well, you can see how that shine just popped up, huh? Sorry if the camera's shaking, but for you to see this, I've got to have the camera about parked right on top of my hand. Well, that looks a whole lot better. So we've got that now. And the plate polished the best we could get it. And this, if you can see it, is the thumb screw that held the big plate on. And we will work on this. 
on the scotch bright pad. Yeah, not much improvement there. Ah, look at that, there it comes. Cool. Very good. I'm going to put some Simichrome on this now, I think. I have never worked with the camera so close. You have no idea how difficult this is. And I'm hesitant to put this on any kind of a uh, rotating anything, you know, like hold it for a a Dremel tool because I really am so afraid of just going through this plating. That is a whole lot better. That is really good. All right, that was that was a couple minutes well spent. I hope you can see that came out pretty good. The you catch the light just right, you'll see that the there's pitting in the chrome that we can't polish out, but the rust is all gone. Got the sides done, and look at that. That was all rusty. So that was good. Let's pull the wheel off. And here's our wheel. Look at the rust we've got back here. First thing we'll do, I've got mineral spirits here. Going to use that and some steel wool to take off whatever dirt and oil might be on there. The sewing machine oil, when it gets old and hard, gets like almost like varnish. It's it's really something. I've had some luck getting it off with mineral spirits and or hot steel wool. So. Okay, that's the first step. I'm going to continue off camera because I'm probably giving you all vertigo by uh, moving these things up so close. So I'll bring you back. Wow. That came out really well. Cleaned the inside, cleaned all the spokes. I polished the edge the best I could. And there's one spot that right here, you can see it, where the tarnish is just it's too much. It's through the it's through the plating. The plating is worn. But boy, does that look a whole lot better, huh? Beautiful. Happy with that. Okay, I'm holding it in one hand, and I've got this in the other. But if you can see, very I'm very gently pulling away some of this dried. Maybe you can see it there. See it coming up. This is what this dried oil looks like. So what I'm doing is I go through the mechanical part. I'm very gently cleaning this. And you can see it's coming up onto the screwdriver there. And I'm very gently cleaning this with a toothbrush or a rag if I can get it in there. Or very, very carefully so I don't scratch using this little screwdriver. I try to lift off as much of this varnished oil as I can and then I'm gonna go then I go through and I put a drop of oil on any of the mechanical pivoting points that I see and again I'm not a singer tech this is not a how-to I'm just kinda of showing you what I'm doing to help these folks out a little bit but you can see just how much of this stuff is coming off well here she is after we've got her cleaned up and I think she looks a treat Look at that, how nice that came out. Look how nice that came out. You know, she's got scars on her that, that we can't do anything about. But Grandma put them there, and, and that's what makes this special. And if this was mine, I'd leave it just exactly the way it is now. It's clean, it shines, but the places where it's got legitimate wear are still there. And the owner has uh, this piece that's not a problem. Very nice. 
and we've even got the underside all cleaned out. Everything's been lubricated and oiled. Looks great. All right, this is the next to the last uh, installment in this video series. We've got one more to shoot. That's going to be me reassembling this entire machine, and then we're going to video the reveal as the owners come and pick it up. And once the owners have received it, I will upload that video. That way the surprise is theirs. So from our shop just outside Kennesaw here in North Georgia, best regards, thanks for watching, take good care, and remember, it's just wood color and some shiny stuff, and in this case, just an old sewing machine, some oil, and a lot of elbow grease. Take care, we'll see you next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.